Hi guys and welcome back to a special replay cast here from Brood War as we have indeed several spawning here in the upper left part as the Red Zerg. He's of course known from Starcraft 2, the world champion, but here he's actually playing Brood War. Let's see how he does here versus his opponent who is spawning here in the upper right part as the yellow Terran SAS Zip. I really don't know who this is. I do know of course that Cyril is from Finland, sadly I don't know. I don't have any information here about his uh, opponent, the Terran, with a very pretty much high APM. Same can be said, of course, here for Serral. And let's see what exactly Serral is going to go for. The same can be said here for the Terran, what exactly the build order for him is going to be. The spawning on a four spawning location map. And a lucky scout out here for Serral as his overload is heading indeed for the right direction. So, just like in the previous few plays, we are going to be checking the build orders very soon. We can see the production tab, of course, here in the upper left part. As Serral went for the Overlord and he's also saving some money. So it could be a fast expansion for the World Champion. In the meantime, a casual open up here for the Terran goes for a Supply Depot. I believe he's going to continue very soon with his barracks. It's going to be very interesting to see if he's indeed going to go for a mass barracks. Or is he perhaps going to try a transition into some mechanical build orders with some vultures, with some tanks or some goliaths like we've seen flash through this here onto this channel. So the scouting is beginning. We see the SCV move out here for the Terran. They're even sending out his second drone and there is his indeed his fast expansion. So no spawning pool, no gas for him. Great fast expansion as the overload is uh, reaching, is going to reach the main here from the Terran very soon. In comes the SCV, he sees the expansion so he knows what exactly the build order is. I believe he's going to leave this SCV very much as much as he can here into the main from several just to see exactly when there is going to be a tier or if there's going to be a tier to upgrade for several just like many Zergs they really like to go into those mutilisks and perhaps some Lurgers would also be an option here for the Zerg in case the Terran goes for mass um, mass bio here. There is the CV from the Terran. I believe he's also saving up for a expansion given the fact that he saw the expansion here. But hold on, we actually see a bunker rush here attempt by the Terran. So quite interesting stuff. Lots of, uh, lots of mining time has been lost here for the Zerg for several. There's also many drones have to be pulled. So several panicking a little bit. Sending out so, so many drones. At one point I believe there were Zerglings, but no, pretty much overreaction here by several as he has sent out so so many drones in order to counter this bunker rush, a fake bunker rush by the Terran. But it has done quite a good job, quite some economic damage here already against several as so so many drones had to be pulled. So they were pretty much panicking here, but there are no Marines for the Terran. So nice move by him. So let's see the. The CV might get killed very soon here by one lone Zergling. At the same time, Cell looks like he's going to try to inflict some damage towards the Terran. One Marine is out. There is a bunker being placed here for the Terran. Yeah, the SCV just roaming around just to see exactly when or if there's going to be a tier 2 or it's going to be mass Zerglings. Now, finally, the SCV has fallen. Let's see what Cell uh, is going to be able to do here. However, the gap is very, very small. Marines already nicely on time here for the Terran. Even the patch is being blocked here by the SCV. So very smart move by the Terran as he's nicely blocking his entrance and even finishing now his expansion. So round of five or round of four mid mark. We see the expansion finished. There's his gas. And I believe the Terran is going to play it very normally here with mass barracks. Let's see what's building here. The supply depot, so it could be a mass bio build order, like I told you, with mass marines with medics. This one SCV is not getting punished by several, so very nice move out here by Terran. We now see 22 workers for the Terran, 24 several. Let's check the main from several once again. This is tier 2, is about to get finished, but this one sneaky SCV makes it here forward. There are no sunkens, of course, for the Terran. Several tries to block the entrance here, but he needs some zerglings. Only one Zerling is being brought back here to finish this SCV. So the SCV sees the tier 2. I believe is also going to witness the finishing gear of the tier 2. And of course it's going to leave the SCV once again as much as he can. Just to see it's going to be a Spire or a Hydrolist. Then we actually see a macro 
hatch here for several and of course he could hide his fire into this location there it is so yeah the scv is nicely scouting this so i believe he's going to transition very soon into an engineering bay this engineering bay for some tourists we even have an academy this team is getting now research for the terror and another barrack so indeed we do have mass bio here for the terran this is, this is still around as soon as this battery is going to finish here for Sarah. i believe he's going to go into mass mutilisk so let's see how he does with those mutilisk with the micro of course the mutilisk can be very very deadly against the bio from the terran if used correctly if micro correctly we also see, see tier the weapons will operate here for the terran and some medics are already getting produced so stuff the terran currently playing of course a little bit defensively as he's expecting an attack by several no such thing yet as soon i believe he could even walk out here with his units as soon as steam is getting finished you notice that several doesn't have his third expansion yet just some overlords finally his drone is being sent out so third expansion quite late as the marines are not moving on so Cell needs to be careful Steam marines with medics very very strong against the zerlings the six mutilis are getting produced even seven so see a sunken getting produced actually three sunkens are getting produced here for several so he's expecting an attack as the sunkens will very likely finish here on time i believe this was just a fake move out here by the terran forcing of course several to invest into some sunkens Lots and lots of minerals indeed invested, but you can see how smart the Terran is. He's now moving back, just trying to secure his uh, defenses with some turrets. Nice move by him. Three Sunkas have been forced out here by Serral. In come the Mutilisk. Let's see what Serral can do with seven Mutilisk against the Terran, who is opting to go for quite some huge, large number here of uh, turrets. Let's see the income the Mutilisk. They are able to take out one SCV. The steam marines are over here in position, doing a good job defending here against all of those mutilis. And interesting enough, Cyril decides to go back a little bit. Lots and lots of tourists here defending the SCVs. Some SCVs on idle here, so a small mistake by the Terran. See, Cyril is going to be able to perhaps be lucky and kill a couple of marines here. At the same time, he's of course expanding here, so the mutilis keep good cover towards that. Really, really hard to attack here. And so so many turrets very smart placement here by the Terran. however right, still two scvs are idle. Right, let's see his main also two scvs so a little bit of a mistake here however we see a mass production of wins by the Terran, and weapons one is also getting finished so several with a very hard game for him early on he's not really able to inflict some damage and now the Terran actually deciding to move forward with his units with his medics and marines let's see how things will unfold as we even see lurkers now getting produced so first high risk horse can be produced here by Cell. of course Cell is going to transition into mass lurkers just to have a good defense against all of the units here from the terror we even see a factory might go into a starport indeed as i believe the first attack is getting pretty much prepared here by the terran should of course have one weapons upgrade and I believe range has also been finished here for the Aaron unit. So yeah, very soon Cell will be in quite some danger. He's about to get sieged. But he does have, of course, those sunkens. He might invest into more sunkens or some lurkers. In comes the push out here by the Terran. Around the 9 minute mark. Quite a strong push out by him. With so, so many marines. Some medics are here as well. Four medics, I believe it is. A massive amounts of marines now sell with a little bit of a mistake here some of his mutilis are getting caught off guard with micro afterwards trying to inflict some damage yeah, there's medics also here in position so cell losing some mutilis also some mutilis in the red let's see if the terror is going to commit here forward it's going to be quite hard for him to attack but the second wave is getting prepared by him and even a tank has joined now the army so cell really has to target this one tank with his mutilis in order to keep his uh, expansion alive same time this other expansion might get connected very soon with a nido swarm so the terror pretty much committing everything he has all of those marines in the front with the medics still is moving here forward i really don't agree with this one so all of his organs have fallen he's trying to inflict some damage kills a couple of marines but in the end losing those zerlings bit of a mistake by him if you ask me 
And now, of course, the main target should, of course, be this tank right here. Which should be able to target those sunk. So now would have been perhaps the time for Sarah to attack the tank with the Zerlings and with the Mutilisk. As his Sunkens now take a splash damage out of the tank. Very smart move by the Terran once again. One Sunken is about to fall. He's trying, of course, to bring his Mutilisk forward. But lots and lots of Marines here to cover the tank as the second Sunken is about to get finished. Now the Terran really needs some energy for those cans. He has no science vessels. The lurkers will be targeted very soon. Lots and lots of lurkers here for the for several. As now the scan has went out. But still no attack by the Terran. Lots and lots of lurkers indeed. Let's see if the Terran is going to commit. He might get surrounded with some lurkers in the back. And we are about to see several com committing here of course. Trying to move forward. The lurkers are in position now. But they're immediately getting taken out here by the Terran. So nice stuff by him. Several tries of course to micro his lurkers. The scan is there. Now not that many lurkers are still being left alive. Only three in the back. But they will inflict however lots and lots of flash damage. And finally in come the Mutilisk. They will have to take out this thing. But all of a sudden it seems that Cyril has GG'd out. So quite interesting enough. I don't really agree with him uh, GG'ing out here. But of course he knows better the reinforcements perhaps. Would have been really really strong. There would have been a science vessel here of course. One earlier the GG out for him. Sadly his surrounding maneuver didn't work out well. He didn't he wasn't able to snipe the tank. So in the end, SA Zip is taking game number one. Let's jump straight into game number two. So Cell with a quite surprising GG out there. I don't really believe the game was lost, but then of course I believe he knows better. We're going to the second game. This time I know Zerg versus Zerg versus Atom Bomb. Yeah, we have spawning here in the upper right in the yellow. It is several once again. And his opponent here in the lower left as the white Zerg. It's Atom Bomb. Quite an interesting name for a Zerg player. They fitted a Terran player much, much better with a nuclear launch here. Let's see what Atom Bomb has prepared for us as both players are sending out their scouting overlords. Once again, a four spawning location on the map. We might see massive amounts of Zerglings. We could see some mutilisk, of course, it's common known. Some defenses with some stunkens, with some spores also in a ZVZ. Let's see how Cyril does this after he left the game very, very early in game number one versus the Terran. Sadly for him, he wasn't able to target the tank down. And in the end, he just lost so, so many units. Especially the surrounding maneuver didn't work out for him with the lurkers. Yeah, the Terran pretty much just standing his ground was able to snap so, so many lurkers, zerglings. And even the mutilus would have been without any chance. Let's see how he does in a ZVZ as he's opening up here straight with a spawning pool. And his opponent, I believe he's going to put some money, put some minerals or some for expansion here. Could be a fast expanding Zerg. There is his overlord. And we do see two drones getting produced. We also have a spawning pool and gas for Serral. So Serral might try to be early aggressive versus his opponent. He will very likely send out some Zerglings very soon in order to counter the early expansion by the Zerg. We also see a spawning pool by his opponent. Could be spawning pool and then expansion for the white Zerg. Gas is already in mind, so <coughs> we might see him go for his speed upgrade for those uh, Zerglings very soon. There are the Zerglings. Very, very early Zerlings as now finally spawning pool will be finished with gas for his opponent. So a difference into the build or they need a more aggressive start here for Cyril as we do indeed have last expansion here for his opponent. Yeah, and Cyril is very likely going to pump more and more into those Zerlings. Reef is going to try to finish the game much, much faster here. Not going for a fast expansion, straight sending out those Zerlings. And also the speed upgrade is very very fast for him as gas has been mined. And yeah, the Zerlings are now pretty much moving out. The first overlord not finding his target. Serral tries of course to go into the upper left part. Yeah, his opponent is nicely here located into his location. So Serral losing a little bit of time. Those Zerlings reinforcements are pouring in. Speed is about to get finished very soon for him. So his speed is going to be faster 
and we even have the tier 2 upgrade so completely different strategy here for satellite at Ojo. a much much more aggressive move out by him this is going for tier 2 so very soon i believe he's going to transition into some mutilisk and yeah let's see if he's going to get a good surround versus the zerglings here from his opponent some sunkens might be available for the zerg very soon we see an engagement here better position for the white zerg as some of the zerglings for sell are a little bit low i was going to try to abuse the fact that his speed has been finished much faster but he needs some reinforcements so so many zerglings are pretty much in the red for sell yeah, more and more zerglings are getting produced he has to hurry up of course as speed will be finishing very soon for the white zerg here as well for atom bomb and no sunkens yet for him so looks like he's going to try to commit with his zerlings more zerlings here however available for the white zerg and some lone zerlings here in the front a little bit of a miss micro so he's now getting chased away by his opponent so let's move by atom bomb let's check his main there is his tier 2 and there is the tier 2 for cell as we have a spire and a sunken colony which is about to get finished very soon notice how two zerlings are being left behind in order to inflict some damage so not move by Cell, and now he pretty much has to just shut the door here and wait for his mutilisk there's no sunkens are yet here available for the white zerg two zerglings will try to make it here forward but there's also two zerglings for the atom bomb I'm going to try to snipe some some drones here but we also see the spy for the white zerg so sadly here for several his Abusement didn't really make anything happen. His early aggression also didn't make anything happen. And now the Zerg might have the economic advantage here. Notice how both players are very, very low on workers. 8 to 7. But yeah, very soon the first Nucleus will spawn for several incomes once again an attack. And lots and lots of Zerglings all of a sudden here for the White Zerg. They might try to commit here forward. So Serral producing his first Nucleus. There are so, so many Zerglings available here for the zerg and yes indeed he's committing sadly here for several he's not paying attention he's pretty much cut apart so so many zerglings are pulling him here forward there is one sunken here available for him so all, our, all he has to do is just to buy some time and the first mutilisk will give of course good cover one point i believe even the drones have to be pulled back here into fighting so the first mutilisk is out sadly here for several he's not targeting now finally coming back and targeting those units but in the end so so much damage has been taken here even cell dropping more and more into the workers three workers only available the white zerg pretty much committing everything he has sadly here for cell he has lost so so many workers even the sun is taking quite some damage yeah two workers one is mining gas the second one mining minerals what a disaster here for the world champion as more and more zerglings are getting pulled out here for the zerg and we even have a three meters with scourges all of a sudden here for the white zerg as now it has of course to inflict damage into the reinforcement some drones are getting produced it's slowly but steadily coming back but yeah in come the zerg is once again the sunken is of course very very low he might try to commit here forward straight into killing this one sunken almost gets it here with 3 hp luckily here for several but in the end the reinforcements are pulling forward and we even have some scourge in the air that might get a good connection against those mutilisk and we do indeed get some good connections here as more and more damage is getting inflicted here but the economy is still disastrous here for several and a nice micro here by the white zerg as he's able to kill the scourges and indeed with that with the reinforcements pulling here forward for a thumb bomb he is able to secure this game so a nice move by a thumb bomb this game by him several tried of course to finish the game very very quickly but in the end atom bomb with some very wise decisions here being able to take this game nice nice game by both players a little bit of a too much aggressive move if you ask me here by several but in the end a quite interesting game indeed a nice zvt and a nice zvz we had here from several quite a surprise in brood War. so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this is Tommy signing out.